Hi everybody, I'm Donna Frasca, and I wanted to talk about um, your comfort zone today. Of course, it's uh, in relation to your spiritual journey. Um, what are the things you're willing to do outside of your comfort zone? Um, for example, um, if you're, um, say you're at a carnival and uh, you're afraid of heights, we are afraid of rides that, that go up high and spin around really fast. Are you the type of person to say, you know what? I've been afraid my whole life. I've never taken any chances. And uh, today I choose to go outside my comfort zone and I'm gonna go for it. What do I have to lose? Yeah, I might be scared. Yeah, I might feel uncomfortable, but I'm not gonna die. And um, I will live to tell a story. So here we are in our um, metaphysical world where, um, you know, perhaps there's things that uh, we have the opportunity to do, um, you know, things that we've never done before, uh, such as, um, you know, uh, I don't know, doing something, for example, um, if you're about to read, do a reading for somebody, some people like to, um, they have a ritual that they do first. Um, you know, they have to uh, calm themselves and meditate and, you know, um, find their little connection and sit in the power and, all, and, you know, rituals. We all do them, right? What if you had to do a reading without doing your rituals? <sighs> oh my gosh, I can't do that. I have to meditate. I can't do that. I have to clear my mind. You have all these, I can't do that because I have a ritual I have to, I have to follow in order to do a reading. Now I get that, I understand it. When we first start our journey, we all have rituals. These rituals help us build a strong foundation um, as we grow and everybody grows at a different pace. But it comes to um, a point, a time you know, in your journey, that um, you need to step out of your comfort zone and try something you haven't done before because you don't know until you try, right? Scary, I know. For years, I've been um, having certain rituals that I do before readings. Um, for example, perhaps, um, you know, I won't drink 24 hours before reading or I won't have meat. Um, I'll listen to a certain type of music, I'll put my candles on, my incense, I'll wear pink, whatever it is, your rituals. And most of the time, it's very beneficial to do those rituals because it connects you with, with the energy, with your source, when you sit in the power, it's perfect. However, there are times when you can't rely on those rituals to, before you do readings. I know that because um, you know, a few, few years ago, somebody hired me to do a reading fast, like in 15 minutes. I'm like, oh no, I can't do that. I have to, I have to meditate. I have to shower. Um, I had a hamburger for lunch. Um, my body is not ready. You know, my connection is not going to be strong. My office is a mess. I don't have my candles, blah, 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 blah. Now, it got me thinking that why do I have to do all these, these shenanigans in order to connect with spirit, which is a natural connection? Okay, I did a, I did a test for myself. Um, this was again a couple of years ago that um, here again, somebody uh, was, uh, they needed a, a reading in 15 minutes. I was not prepared. So, I was like, you know what? I, I have to do this for her. She's reaching out to me. And in, in a New York second, I'm like, sure, I'll help you. So in 15 minutes, I had to give her a quote, get paid and get ready for the reading and give her the results of the reading in 15 minutes. So here I go, here, here you go. Naturally, I called in my angels that are always with me. I said, okay, angels, please join me now. I need to, I need to do a reading fast, like now. Help me get this reading done. And guys, I kid you not, when I say within seconds, 
the reading just unfolded. I saw visuals and imagery and words and messages. And I was like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to write everything down and sketches and everything. And it came in so fast, felt like that. And I looked at the watch, the clock, and it was 10 minutes. It took 10 minutes to do a full reading. I'm like, wow, I, I even have five minutes to spare. So in that five minutes, I was able to, um, you know, contact the client and give her the information. So here we go. Um, what I thought that I needed to do all my readings, you know, all the, the prep work, when push came to shove and I had to do this reading fast, it happened. Spirit was with me. Spirit is with us always. But it's our mind and our own insecurities that prevent us from moving forward and just jumping that hurdle and just going for it. You're not going to know until you try. This is about um, going out of our comfort zone. You're not going to know until you try. And um, again, mediumship, connecting with spirit, is a natural, is a natural thing. Um, you know, you don't need any special, you know, um, you know, classes or or certificates or you know, you don't have to listen to uh, X amount of webinars or read a thousand books. Once you have a connection with self at your own pace, and of course, source. You know, because that is where our, our energy is coming from, from the energy, you know, to help connect us. That's really all you need. Yeah, I know a lot of you say, no, Donna, you know, there's so much more. Yes, there is so much more. But try it, okay? Of course, you know, the, the readings are amazing when we do all our prep work. It's, it's, it's you know, the vibration is high and frequency is high. It's, it's amazing, okay? I know I've done it so many times. However, you know, the few times that I'm like, I don't have time to do all that stuff, the results were the same. It was a big lesson for me, big lesson learned. And as I'm, as I'm going about my journey, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, now th I'm now seeing that my connection to the knowledge that I think I need to, to move forward and to learn more about my journey is kind of like leveling off because the journey now is within okay the journey is within the learning is within and with spirit okay oh my gosh guys it is such a such a lesson today um december 22nd 2019 um i should put this in my journal but i'm doing a recording instead which is which is kind of nice so i hope that resonates with you um, and I actually pulled some Lenormand cards after, you know, this, uh, this, um, lesson, you know, came in today. Um, and it's, it's, it's conflicts. We're always, you know, I pulled three cards and they were perfect. Um, it's conflicts. We're always going to have conflicts and obstacles in our life. Oh gosh, I don't feel comfortable doing that. I don't know if I want to. Well, you have a choice. Either you do. Or you don't. If you don't, you stay back and you kind of just, you know, ride the wave the waters there till you're ready. Or you go for it and say, yeah, I am scared. I feel uncomfortable. I don't like this, but I'm, I trust spirit. I trust spirit to do this. And you do it and you'll live, so to speak. Okay. Um, that's tapping into your solar plexus, yourself trusting yourself, using yourself as a tool, tapping into that solar plexus and say, you know what, I'm ready. I'm ready for the, my next journey. I'm ready to take a challenge. I'm ready to conquer my fears. I'm ready. Is it your time to conquer your fears? Okay, everybody works together. Everybody's on this path, the same path, but different, different levels, different timelines, different experiences, the same but different, okay? We're all learning every day, but I wanted to share this um, lesson today um, about your comfort zone, okay? All right, guys, look forward to more videos with you about the lessons I've learned, and I hope it uh, teaches you um, 
resonates with you. Um, anything that I had said here and um, keep, in, keep an eye out for more of these videos. Okay? All right, guys. Bye-bye.